Hallelujah, friends. What a great God we say. I want to quickly pray for you. I don't know what you're going through. Uh, I understand we all face challenge in lives. And a lot of people are having financial problems. A lot of people have lost their job because of this uh, pandemic. A lot of businesses uh, is having challenges here and there. Families problem, marital problem. But I would like to pray for you. Uh, just, I just want you to agree with me and type Amen as I pray. Heavenly Father, you told us in your word that you answer prayer. And I believe you answer prayer. Jesus, I stand on my office that you have called me into. I decree and I declare to your sons and your daughter that we watch this video. And I ask that your mighty hand will rest upon their body. You will bless their mind. You will bless their finances. You will bless their company. You will bless their job. You will bless everything around them. Father, their family will be blessed. There is peace in their home. In the name of Jesus, by the power of multiplication, let them begin to experience multiplication. Multiplication in all ramification of your life. Begin to enjoy the peace, the peace that passes all understanding. In the name of Jesus, may God promote you. May God increase you. May God bless you. May God wipe away your tears. In the name of Jesus, if you trust in God for promotion, you trust in God for a raise in your company, maybe you trust in God for a better paying job, or maybe you trust in God for a divine spouse, or maybe you trust in God for a fruit of the womb. I decree and declare by the authority of Christ vested on me. I speak into your life according to your desire. Receive your miracle now. And I want you to type amen as you watch this video. Say amen, amen, amen. Amen simply means it shall be so. The world will come to pass in your life. You will experience increase. Miracle will happen in your life. This month of rest and productivity, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will give you rest and on every side. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, beloved brothers and sisters, men and women of God, I want to quickly share with us our, our Miracle Magazine. We just released the volume one, the volume two is coming out in the next month. But uh, if you have been following us or if you have the Miracle Magazine, I would like you to turn to page 10. Page 10. Now, in that page 10, I put a wonderful word, prophetic prayers to put your angels to work for you prophetic prayer to put your angels to work for you i want you to know in the kingdom kingdom where we belong the lord have assigned an angels to work with us the bible says in the book of hebrew 1 verse 14 are they not ministry spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation now the verse above is talking about that the father the angels have been assigned to us angels have been assigned to us is a part of our salvation package they are sent to they are sent to minister for us not to us now for us the word that that little word there for us make a huge difference and if angels are sent to minister to us that means somebody is actually telling the one to do but in that verse the bible say they are sent to minister for us and and we know that they are and that means we are the one that is releasing them giving them a responsibility releasing them to do their missions and what is their mission their mission is to deliver you to i mean to protect you to deliver your miracles to give you an information you know to guide you to minister to you just like a bodyguard you can say to him go and buy this thing for me of course he will go or go and wash my cloth of course he will do or go and iron my cloth yes he will do that or go and cook this food for me go and go to kfc or go to this place of course they will obey you now there are thousands of angels that have been assigned to us but we are not giving them responsibility so they are just idle now if you have not been tapping into these powerful supernatural resources you have to begin today 
and this is why you need this my miracle magazine volume one if you want to have it send us yes. us through this uh, telephone you see right now or this email address we will send you a copy now we like us to just to take two prayer points uh, as we put our angels to work one thing I want to say to you you don't pray to your angels I want you to get this clear you don't pray to your angel because you look at the scripture the Bible says when the angel came to Daniel he said to Daniel since the day you begin to pray your word will head you see I have come because or in response to your prayer I have come in response to your word in other words angel came to minister to him because he prayed so your prayer can release angels to work for you but you must know the kind of the right kind of prayer you need to pray that will put your angels to work and the right kind of prayer we are going to pray right now is exactly what we are going to pray now now i want you to say with me father in the name of jesus christ i declare that the angels of information assigned to me they are appearing to me, giving me the information I needed for my next level, for my miracle, in Jesus' name. Now, one of the biggest problems people struggle with in life is divine direction. Direction. That the angel can give you an information how to move. The angels can give, they know the information actually. They can give you, look at Cornelius for instance. Colenius was a wonderful man. He prayed every time. He gave arms. I mean, he helped people and all that. He was, a, he was a very good man. But he's not saved. But the angel visited him and said, Cornelius, now we have we have seen, the heaven have seen, God of heaven have seen what you have been doing, but you don't want you, he don't want you to go to hell. So angel cannot make people to be born again. Now, God have assigned us, not the angels, to to preach the gospel we preach the gospel and they say well i cannot do this job now there is somebody that will do the job is peter now send for him he gave cornelius a great information that changed that family lineage forever now the angel can give you an information that you needed for your next level for your miracle i want us to pray this prayer one more time father in the name of jesus christ I declare that the angels of information assigned to me are appearing to me. They are appearing to me. They are appearing to me, giving me the information I need for my next level, for my miracle, for my breakthrough. The direction I need, angels of the Lord appearing to me, giving me the information in the name of Jesus. The second prayer to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release the angels of battles. To go and free my blessing from every demonic and satanic prison house where the enemies have heard all my blessings in Jesus' name. And if you pray these two prayer points, congratulations. You have just put your angels to work. We continue from there. And again, if you don't have this, my miracle magazine, I would like you to send me a test on my phone, on my WhatsApp, or on my email. I will definitely send it to you. And if this video is a blessing to you, I want you. To, I would like you to comment on this video, and I would like you to share it with your friends and your loved one. I love every one of you with the agape love of Jesus. God bless you. But if you have not given your life to Christ, you don't have right to put your angels to work. And as I said at the beginning, this these resources is given to those that have given their heart to Jesus. I would like to read that scripture to you again. I would like you to hear me before we pray a prayer of salvation. Say, are they not all ministry spirit sent forth to minister for them who shall be heir of salvation? If you are not saved, you don't have right. You don't have right to enjoy this benefit. Only those who are born again have right to put their angels to work. Would you like to give your heart to Jesus Christ right now? If you say yes, I would like you to say this prayer with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, today I invite Jesus into my heart. I give my heart to him. From today, Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. Father, I know I am a sinner. I need a, I need a Savior. Cleanse me from all my sin. Forgive me from all my guilt for everything I have done before. Forgive me. 
Thank you for forgiving me. Jesus is in my heart right now. Lord, I will need your help. I need the gift of the Holy Spirit so that I can live a righteous and a good life. Thank you, Father. From today, I will live my life to please him. I will serve him in the name of Jesus. I will tell people about the goodness of God, the child of God. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you pray this simple prayer, I want to say to you, welcome to the kingdom of God. You are not born again. If you are not living in Sinjo City area or in Taiwan, maybe you are living in another nation, I would like you to look for a Bible-believing church. Be going to that church. In that place, you will be taught how to live a godly life. And if you just say this prayer, you want this magazine, please write to us. We would like to send you magazines, this very magazine, my Miracle Magazine Volume 1. And the Volume 2 will be coming out next month. If you want to have the Volume 2, we would like to send it to you too. God bless every one of you. If you just give your life to God right now, I want to especially pray for you that this month of July, God will give you a miracle. I want to say that one more time. If you just give your life, you just give your life to Jesus Christ right now, this month of July, God will give you a miracle. You will enjoy promotion. You will enjoy divine head. In the name of Jesus, if there is any pain in your body right now, the pain just leave you now. In Jesus' name. God bless every one of you. And if you watch this video to the end, I would like you to comment. And I would like you to share with others. If you are not subscribed to this YouTube channel, why can't you do so? I love every one of you with the perfect love of Jesus. Shalom, shalom.